Hello, welcome to this uh, tender evaluation tool. This is a tool that um, is designed to fast track vendor selection based on parameters that the suppliers or the vendors are being assessed. So you see over here on this column A, we have the vendors thing in this template there are about 15 of them and each is supposed to submit some documents that will be used to assess them on these parameters these are previous experience years of experience and so on and so forth and these are what we expect to happen okay so over here this column H where we have selection verdict someone is supposed to be selected or his submission accepted if all these are true so this person has to submit that previous experience is available and then the years of experience should be more or equals to seven years i mean five years greater or equals to five years and then here in Nigeria, we look at the Corporate Affairs Commission, that's CAC, so it has to be registered. So we're asking, is it registered? It has to be yes. Does the company have tax clearance? Yes. That tax clearance, the age, is it within three years? So it has to be three or equal to three years. And then the time that this company has specified they would deliver, is it within 30 days? So it has to be within 30 days. So once these criteria are met, the verdict is selected. Now, if any of this does not meet this parameter, here we see it's rejected. So every one of them here must be true. So even if the company has excellent values for all, but one, it will remain rejected. Now, this tool has been programmed to, by default, to say there is no complete data for each of the companies. And the moment you start making entries, once you begin or you supply the entry anywhere, automatically here turns to rejected until you complete and then once it is rejected here begins to give make an attempt to give you reason why it is rejected okay so we're just going to play around with few companies so that we can see how it works and then we will begin to explain how this tool can be developed it's something that can fast track your uh, procurement processes especially when it comes to uh, vendor selection all right so here uh, some of them we have already val uh, done data validations is just for you to select so for this first company see what's going to happen as we begin to fill it out here we have yes or no so if we put yes here now you see this is rejected like i explained before you have started making entry for this company so so far is rejected because it has not supplied the remaining ones and because it is rejected here is turned red it's flagged it has flagged off that this is red so here we are going to impute all the parameters so that they can meet the uh those criteria so the years of experience it should be greater than five so let's say we put five all right so what is still telling you is still incomplete data so is it registered with CAC? Yes. Uh, does it have task clearance? Yes. What is the age of the task clearance? Let's say two. And then what about the delivery time? The guy says it's going to supply within 23 days. And see what happens. Is accepted. And here it turns green. All right. So uh, for this company, let's say we say uh, it doesn't have, it's a new company. And then it's already rejected. So what about here? Let's say we have um, years of experience is two years. Um, registered with CAC. Yes. Let's say we have yes here. And here we have yes. 
here we have um, 2, here we have 12. Alright, so it tells you the reasons why uh, this person is rejected. So it's telling you, number one here, no previous experience. Number two, the years of experience is inadequate because the, the standard is five or greater than five, but you are specifying um, two. Okay, so let's look for this third one. We have three here, so we need to complete everything so let's say this person has six which is good now note also that anyone that does not meet the the requirement here automatically turns a different color okay so here is correct this is correct um cac let's say no it doesn't have a cac what about here it does not have tax clearance what about here it's one year and this is 20 one all right you see it is rejected and it's not specifying the reasons why it is not accepted number one you see cac it doesn't have cac document and does not have tax uh, clearance again let's test we want to see how um we'll get the next one and let's look at where this is not right Okay, so here now number of let's say good company and then this is yes and then this is yes however this is four and then this is uh, should be less than so but what it's saying it's going to supply in okay so you see now it has specified that the age of tax clearance which is here is unacceptable and again the delivery time is too long okay now let's look at a situation where a company does not meet any of the parameters so in which case we have here no here what's that supposed to be years of experience so he has one so also flagging it out uh we have no we have no we have what we have here less than it should be okay age of okay let's say five so that we can have red here and then the delivery time is 45 now it's rejected now it has enumerated the various reasons why this company is rejected okay so this is something that even if you need to make justification it's easy for you to run your analysis directly from here it didn't take me time to make this input and it didn't take me much time to arrive at the various uh, reasons why a company is rejected or accepted all right so uh, in the subsequent videos we are going to be explaining how each of this is imputed for instance we need to make input here we need to make input here and then these two derive their inputs elsewhere so join me in the next video